My name is Vince McIntyre, 67 years old. I found this place by accident and decided to camp here with my girlfriend in 1979. She was a mountaineer. And we uh, made our temporary camp here and here, 30 years later, we're still here. Back then, I never thought I'd ever settle down, that I'd always be a traveler. Eh? And when I come here, I kind of grew into the place, and my daughter was born here in the Kootenay, so that's probably the, the reason that it made it, it made it home for me. Yeah. It feels very permanent in the sense that it feels like home. It just brought me back to my childhood. And so I, I, this is where I decided in the world to settle down. I guess we were, um, first of all, uh, the, the whole feeling of being illegal. That's something we had to deal with, whether or not we were going to get eviction notice or whatever. And, and that kind of st stayed with me for a few years, and then, then I got over that. And then, and as, as I got over that, then it become more, I'd become more um, home. My wife had a lot of books, and uh, and I had a few, and we had a place to store the books that was uh, relatively well sheltered. So uh, over the years, it accumulated a lot of a lot more books, and now it's known as the library. So. When I have uh, people that come want to learn uh, something of me, I just come and watch me. I'll show you how I do it. And, uh, and then I'll see how you get it. Come on, come on, come on. I would say that I wouldn't call myself a good horseman by any means. I know good horsemen, but uh, I, I would never say that, hey, I'm, I'd be a good guy to teach you how to use horses because I have my own uh, rudimentary style that works for me. For a person to learn horses out of a book is pretty difficult. A lot of people I find that with their first introduction to the horse, they treat it like a machine. Like you put, you say whoa, and the brakes are on, you know. And uh, to me, it's more like being on a boat in rough water, that there's always movement going on, and you always have to be in touch with the movement with horses. Uh, you can't just say, oh, I got that figured out, and then drift off. When you do that, your horses drift off. So it, it takes a lot of focus. Uh, Come on. Whoa, get out of there. Okay, come, come on, big horse. I think it's a lesson right in the horses. It keeps you humble. You have to be polite. You have to ask them, you have to, uh, get their uh, willingness and attention. So if you, if you get angry with your horses, you're in trouble, eh? You know, they feel that right away, and they, you have to be stoical, yeah. Somehow I'm, I've never been really big in doing stuff for myself. And they, they, it has to be bigger. Or whatever, whatever. If I have to have a, a motive for what I do, otherwise I'm totally lazy. I, even fixing my hands, I let things go too far before I. Uh, I'm not motivated that way. So what motivates me is poverty, along with uh, that simple lifestyle.
I left home because I didn't get along with my dad. And, uh, and I got as far away as possible from family because of all the tragedies associated with my childhood. If kids don't have that, like I know people that are 40 years old and they're still babies. They're still like they have uh, this, you know, they treat me like a parent or something, you know? Uh, but, uh, you know, you should be over that. We have to have our heroes. And we have to have our, uh, you see the good in humans, eh? And that's the way I find the good in humans, the people I work with. I find out who they are and what they're made of. And I might seem harsh on people and hard on people, and I am, and I'm never going to be different.